Professor Ogletree has had a rich career since his graduation from Stanford University and then from the Harvard Law School as a public defender, as an attorney in private practice, as a professor and scholar, as a legal activist in the pursuit of real justice in our nation's criminal justice system. Most of us remember, unfortunately, only the aspirational aspect of what King said on August 28th. We forget about the instrumental and contextual aspect of America as he described it to the hundreds of thousands there assembled on the Mall in Washington, D.C. What King talked about that we have forgotten is that he talked about the fact that in 1963, America was segregated. So I could not have been more pleased than to find in my first uh, year as a professor at Harvard 1985, a young, brilliant, bright, dedicated public servant there as a student. Her name was Michelle Robinson. And let me say a word about this remarkable first lady about the idea of building community. She is not the co-president. She has not been elected to an office. But what she has done quietly and forcefully is transform the role of government in thinking about those who are without resources and some without all. One of the very first things she did when they arrived at the White House was to take a delegation of women of all colors to southeast Washington, D.C., the poorest community in Washington, D.C., to talk to young girls uh, about the idea that, yes, they can. The president had the same sort of force as well. When he arrived at Harvard in 1988, after Michelle had graduated and going back to Chicago, uh, he was a bright, ambitious young man. But if you think about President Barack Obama in the sense of the beloved community, he is a, uh, a case study and overcoming adversity in order to be successful. And the message of Dr. King and of Fannie Lou Hamer and Coretta Scott King and Barack Obama and Nelson Mandela uh, and, and Cesar Chavez uh, and so many others, Susan B. Anthony, the message is that if we come together as a beloved community and commit ourselves to sacrifice, to selflessness, to faith and to hope, we can say those same words that inspired a young kid from Hawaii to be our president today. And hopefully it will inspire you to be the leader of tomorrow. Yes, we can.